Hey guys, so I am going to walk you through the five pillars final project. So when you open up your assignment, you're going to have a, the sli first slide is going to be here with all these boxes. And the second slide is where you're going to find your actual directions for the assignment. So we're going to go here and we're going to look at it. So it says, on the previous slide, you are going to create a one pager about the five pillars. This means in one slide, you are going to show what you know about the five pillars. Each column, so this is a column, each column must include the name of a pillar in Arabic and English, a description of the pillar in your own words. This is important. An image to represent that pillar. Don't forget, no images of Muhammad, Allah, or the angel Gabriel. And an interesting fact about the pillar in your own words. And finally, it says, make it pretty, add colors, new fonts, change the size of text to make sure the box is full. Although I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, so if we are looking at your project, you're going to need some information to fill in here. And you're going to get all of that information from the uh, five pillars pair deck from last week. So you've got each of the pillars represented here. You guys went through and you did your annotation by highlighting what Muslims do as part of the pillar and highlighting what um, you identified as important facts. So you've already kind of done that reading part. Now you just have to kind of put it all in your own words and bring it all together. So when I'm looking at my description of the pillar, Really what I'm looking at is what do Muslims do as part of this pillar? And I, if this was a student version, this part, I would have highlighted this part right here, this first paragraph. So it says, this pillar states that Muslims must say their beliefs out loud, specifically that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Okay, so I'm going to come back over to my slide. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is put the name of the pillar. So I have Shahada, that's the name of the pillar in Arabic, and Belief is the name of the pillar in English. So just like magic, I'm going to show you what, I'm, what I have already done. But you are going to grab a text box. It's the T in a little box. And you are going to draw out a text box where you want those words to go. So I actually already did this and voila, like magic, I've got my title. Yours won't be magic. You're going to have to type it in, but I've got the title of the pillar in Arabic and in English. I'm going to actually do a little resizing because you're going to find it's a little bit of a tight fit. Um, it's definitely doable, but a little bit of a tight fit. So I'm gonna grab that, move it up so I have as much space as I can. Okay, so now my next job is to put the pillar in my own words. So looking back at this, this is really where I want to focus. And just so you know, you can put, it says in your own words, but this is a, like a direct quote of what Muslims say for Shahada. So it's okay to include this quote. The rest of them will be all in your own words. Okay, so the pillar states that Muslims must say their beliefs out loud. Okay, so... I, again, would come over here and hit the T. I'm going to draw in my text box. And bam. Okay, so I've got my, um, my description of what the pillar says. So I said for, for Shahada, Muslims must say out loud. Actually, I'm going to say declare here just so that I'm, I got it going to my own words. Muslims must declare there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. Perfect. So I got that. Now I need to go in and I need to find an important fact. Just one. Um, I've already highlighted two. So I'm going to pick of those two that I highlighted. I'm going to pick what I want to identify. And as long as you're pulling something from this and you're putting it in your own words, you are not going to be wrong. So no worries. Okay, so I'm going to put my important fact. And I marked that it was an important fact by um, putting little like asterisks next to it. Um, although you could say, 
could also do it like this and say fat. Okay, so I pulled that information. And again, I want to, I'm gonna make this box just a little bit smaller so that I have space for my picture. Okay, perfect. So if I go back to my directions, I've got the name of the pillar in Arabic and English. I've got a description in my own words. And I've got my interesting fact that leaves me finally with an image. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go to insert image, search the web. And you can see I, because this is something said aloud, I'm going to use as a symbol for this, a speech bubble. And I like this one. Um, so I'm going to insert it, resize it. and put it right here in the box. Okay, so now I've got my, if I go back through the directions, I've got the name, I've got the description, I've added my image, and now I have an interesting fact. And finally it says, make it pretty, add colors, new fonts, change the size, to make sure the box is full. So I could, Highlight this text and choose a fun font. I'm gonna pick that as my font. Um, I could do the same thing here. And why don't I put each of these in different fonts so they stand out? I'm not someone that goes with simple. Please do make sure that it's uh, readable. So I'm gonna actually make these both just a little bit bigger so you can see it. Okay. And you do wanna kind of try to keep it all on the slide, um, making everything fit and work. Let's see, I need a little more space. I'm gonna drag that up. I'm gonna drag that up just a little bit. Bam, and that gets it on the slide. Perfect. Uh, you can also do a background color. So maybe I wanna do a background color here and uh, pick a color. So I'm gonna go there. I wanna pick something light. Um, maybe like that. That color is actually kind of hideous. Let's, I don't know if that's any better. Uh, pick a color. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go with that one. So um, you can also add in color to make your um, make your your column pop. But now you can see I've got my um, my pillar all complete, and I'm ready to move on to the next one. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. Please ask. Otherwise, good luck, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. Bye, guys.